Yo, that was good, so man, it's Lonnie TV 2. Remember that name before I even get too far than that. You feel me? Remember the name and subscribe. You feel me? We're acting to virgins and sex workers play truth or drink by cuts. Y'all know this is going to be a good video. Interesting video. Uh, just off of this, this first thing right here, we already know who's the virgin, right? It's her. I'm just playing. We just, Let's be real. It's definitely this nigga. I wonder, you know what I wonder? Do they, does this nigga come dressed like this or do they make him look more of a virgin? Like, you know, when you want to cast the car, you know, commercials, they usually give you a fit. I don't know if they gave him this fit. You feel me? It made him do the hair like this and all that shit. Let me I'm honestly curious. Right now or take a shot. Because there's no way you fucking need a kid like this and wearing this shit. Unless he's that much of a virgin. Like, I don't know. All right, get it over with. Hold on, what was the question? Hold on. Let me spank you right now or take a shot. All right, I would have been done too. Bitch, what the fuck? All right, get it over with. Oh, this nigga said get it over with? Oh, I thought he was leaving the show. Oh, nigga, what? Hi, I'm Waylon. I'm 21, and I'm a sex worker. Hey. Oh, hold on. I, the sex worker clip part didn't even click in my brain. I thought it was just virgins and not virgins. Sex worker. They got prostitutes, hookers, blade walkers, street walkers, pole dancers. Bro, escorts, every type of sex worker in this motherfucker. Damn, they not even clarifying what type of one they is. They got, they got, um, they got different levels of sex workers. They got the top escort motherfuckers. You feel me? Pole dancers, and they got the blade walkers. Two different price ranges. And I'm David. I'm 31, and I don't have sex. I'm you didn't want to say. She said I was a sex worker. You didn't want to say I'm a virgin. That shit would hurt. That nigga feelings or some shit. Is this nigga sex worker too, bro? What the fuck, nigga? If this nigga being a sex worker, hey, he gotta be. He gotta be on the fucking blade or some shit too. I, you know there'd be niggas out there working that shit too, bro. There's no fucking way. I'm Natalie. I'm 25 and I am a virgin. And I'm Brian and I'm 49 and I am a sex worker. What kind of sex working do you imagine, like? What type of sex worker this could be on, man? What the Jeez, I don't know. <laughs> what like the fuck? maybe OnlyFans or porn, maybe? I'm like an OnlyFans chatterbaits kind of sex worker. Okay. Yeah. Do you do like OnlyFans stuff? I'm a stripper. Oh, okay, cool. I'm a stripper. I've also escorted, done webcamming, and yeah, so just over. Look at this nigga face. <laughs> done. Oh, look okay, at cool. this. I'm a stripper. I've also escorted, <laughs> done webcamming. <laughs> hey, bro, she making her bread, man. Let her live her lifestyle in peace. Don't judge her, nigga. Fuck. Yeah, so just overall sex worker, I guess. You want to start off with a shot? Please. Oh, yeah. yeah. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, yeah. Are you ready? Yep. Okay. Okay. So all the sex workers on the right side versus on the left side, y'all. Remember that. What picture when you think of a sex worker and how do I fit that image? For some reason, I usually think of it as like exclusively women doing it. Well, you'd probably be right, you know, 90% of the time. What do you picture when how you think of- How the fuck did that nigga get into that industry? That nigga got weirdo vibe, like, you know, the, them stories be hearing about, like, um, that was getting over on girls doing this sex industry shit. That's exactly what I picture that nigga, like, that's the type of nigga you picture in your head, like a weird nigga. I ain't saying you weird, bro. I'm just going off of, uh, I'm just reading the book, reading the cover, you feel me? That's all it is. I'm probably, like, high heels, lots of skin showing. I'm wearing high top converse. Do I look like a virgin to you? No, I would have never guessed you were a virgin. Oh, really? Why is that? Because you're attractive, and oh. you just kind of seem like the kind of guy that likes to have fun. But I do automatically go to, like, you're choosing not to have sex, maybe because of religion. I'm not religious. I just haven't taken any actionable steps to do it. I've never been, like, so bored where it's just like, I have nothing to do. Let me download, like, Grindr or Tinder or whatever. Yeah. I'm that's, also that's not just how you get to fucking, my boy. You, people don't just fuck off fucking apps and shit. Nigga, you meet people in real life. Like, what the fuck? So, um, okay, cool. Yeah. I'm into girls, uh, too. Okay, <laughs> awesome. For me, it's a lack of options. I don't really go out much, and I'm not great at talking to new people. What have you done sexually? Nothing at all. Like, uh, hugging, holding hands, sharing a bed. Like, Kissing? No, not even that. Damn, niggas. Okay. 
I've only ever been on one date. <laughs> oh, one shit. date. Stop the. Oh my god. When I hear shit like this, man, I always be like, damn, I'm blessed. Life can always be different. Life can always be this. It can always be that. I think you ain't even hold hands with. Never hold a hand. You know, I don't think you ever touched. Oh my God. Hey, y'all. If you're watching this, man, be grateful. Or you can be in this nigga's shoes. It's serious, bro. Be grateful. Presence. Like when I go on dating apps or whatever, I'm not really that like pulled by the amount of people on there. Yeah. What apps are you on? Uh, like Tinder. Back in the day, it was Craigslist, man. You could get laid like crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is the type of nigga. Okay, this nigga look like Craigslist nigga, man. Vision of barrel, man. <laughs> and they was and Craigslist, man. Them them hoes were just selling their bodies. Craigslist was. It still might be. I don't know, bro. But yeah, you can find escorts and prostitutes on fucking Craigslist. That was top spot for that shit. Does being a sex worker affect your relationships and private sex life? Since you're just overly sexualized at work, sometimes you're just not like in the mood once you get home. Oh, you don't get like any jealous partners or anything like that? Uh, not really. They don't need to know every single detail. And if they did, then they probably would be jealous. But like, they know what I do and they're okay with it. If not, they're not in my life. I was in a long term. Can y'all date a pole dancer? I feel like that's a lot of guy. Like a question for a lot of people. I, I'm not even gonna say my response right now because my shit's gonna throw off a lot of people. You feel me? I'll, I'll say that shit for later, maybe like a podcast or some shit. But um, yeah, would y'all date a pole dancer? She not she pole dancers. You you not you don't have to fuck. You feel me? It's, a lot of them do just to make extra cash, but you don't have to. But they just showing their body. You feel me? And make a cash. Relationship and it ended because of what I do. I'm sorry. Yeah, it was hard. Hey, apologize for it, nigga. And anyone who loves me is going to accept that. Does being a sex worker affect your relationships and private sex life? No, it's it's sort of a different thing. Are you with someone currently? Oh, yeah, I'm married. I feel like it's oh. different between guys and girls. The missus will come home. Definitely. I'll be like, oh, hang on, I'm man -whoring. And she's like, well, knock it off. We got to go do a thing. And I'm like, okay, hang on. I mean, that's, you know, but like, it's not like she's bent out of shape because I'm like showing people my asshole or whatever mm -hmm. they want to. You'd be surprised how many people want to see my asshole. <laughs> the fuck, I nigga? I have a very photogenic asshole. What? <laughs> okay, we, we know what type of guy this is, bro. Okay. What the fuck is this? Oh, my God. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. Show me your oral sex skills using a piece of fruit. Oh, fuck. That's gonna be terrible, but I'll do it. <laughs> I kind of want to see how you would eat pussy, but I don't want to put it on camera. I'm fine with that. Why not? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be this is gonna bad. Be you want me to say sexy things while you do this? Like, ooh, yeah. Mmm, <laughs> girl. No, I'm good. Oh. oh. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. What the oh, fuck, that's nigga? That's oh. What? Getting a little worked up over here. Oof. Suck the dick. I'll suck the dick. Oh, is he gay? Uh, oh, shit. Okay. God. Nigga. <laughs> it came off. I bit the dick off. <laughs> oh, he is gay. Okay. This nigga's really mimicking this shit. Uh, uh I'm out of ideas no, already. No, 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 you're doing well. Uh -oh. you're, you're doing well, it's doing it for me. <laughs> you just like need to like suck it, like a little, uh, that's me personally. You just need to like suck the clit a little more, but that's good. Yeah, natural. Are you sure you haven't done that before? <laughs> I'm not sure if I Well, that. you and the banana should have an OnlyFans. <laughs> Man, I'd subscribe to that shit. <laughs> this thing is funny, bro. Okay. Oh, this is a good one. Describe what you think sex feels like. Like eating like a really warm apple pie or something. Like, yeah. I know. Yeah. He said, yeah. Wouldn't have thought of that as a description personally. But. <laughs> Describe what you think sex feels like. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be interesting, man. Because once you actually do this shit, it's, it's not. Hold on. So, like, before, pre version, right? Pre version. Like, it's kind of more of a bigger deal. Me personally, it was never a big deal for me. Like it was just, I always felt like before I, before I even got to doing the deeds and shit. You feel me? I always felt like I've been done it. You feel me? Like it's just, I feel like I already knew a lot of shit. 
I feel like I've been for somebody, bro. Basically, like I feel like it was never new for me. It wasn't a big deal when I first did it. Like when I first did it, nigga, I like honestly forgot I even did it. Like fast as shit, bro. I forgot what even happened. Like it didn't even click my brain. Like did it, moved, kept moving on with my life. You feel me? Uh, the fuck, you don't like my answer, nigga. But yeah, it's definitely. Nigga, shit, nigga, come around moving everything. But yeah, it's definitely different than how you expect it to be. Especially if you're going without the fucking uh, plastic, you feel me? It's going to be a different ball game. But yeah, once you in it, it's it's hard thing to explain, you feel me? Like, you just got to do it to replicate, to to do it to understand. It's, it's you can't explain, I'm not going to lie. Shot. That's a shot? Yeah. That one? Okay. That nigga took a shot off that shit? <laughs> Uh, Describe what you think sex feels like. It looks like a shot. The That's fuck? That's a shot? Yeah. That, was, that one? Okay. That nigga that taking a shot over that, sex. then rather than kind of when he implicated it, replicated the shit? There's not a good way to replicate it otherwise. Otherwise, hmm. people be at the pie store every second. Yeah. <laughs> be a line around That's the what block. I'm saying. What does yeah. it feel like to be penetrated by a penis? What? <laughs> what the fuck would you say it like that? <laughs> I see what you're saying now. <laughs> nah, uh, have you ever been scared or in danger while doing sex work? Yes. I had a situation recently with me in a club, in which I'm manager, and somehow he got my private phone number. He got my real name for months. Oh, uh, my bad. Now I feel bad for skipping this shit. It's her vulnerable time. Danger while doing sex work. Yes. I had a situation recently. At first it was great. He came into the club and he would get hours with me in a private room. And uh, when it got scary, he came into the club with a gun. He was convinced that I stole money from him, which I never did. Oh, shit. Um, and threatened to kill me and my manager. And somehow he got my private phone number. He got my real name. For months, I was scared to go outside of my house. I'm sorry. I oh. need a shot. Yeah, no. <laughs> do you want to do one together? Yeah. What turns you on and what are your kinks? Ooh. Ooh. I really like voices, like the sound of someone's voice. Uh, what kind of voices? What sort of voices? <laughs> the fuck is this nigga? What about Sean Connery? Does that, does this get you going? <laughs> Specifically, I like accents quite a lot. Yeah? Yeah. This, this nigga trying to hit her, man. Well, chill, I ain't talking about physical fucking punches. You feel me? I'm talking about he's trying to bend her over. Bend her over. Bend her over, put her in a cover. No cap, but um, yeah. That nigga entertain the fuck out. He trying, he trying to take her, her V for sure. Sound of like if someone were to have a that. lot of people have that. Yeah. 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 Do you watch porn? Yes. Definitely. What kind of porn do you watch? Car sex or cosplay porn. <laughs> what? Watch a lot. That nigga so damn open about that shit. Porn, but I do like bisexual like group porn where just like everyone's into everyone. Like a like, gangbang or? Uh, it doesn't have to be a gangbang. It could be like threesomes or foursomes. You know, like something smaller. You're very wholesome. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> okay. Let me spank you right now, or take a shot. How about I spank you instead? Have at it. All right. I'm, I'm the oh, sex yeah. worker, so. This nigga different. Let me spank you right now, or take a shot. All right, get it over with. My boy, you could at least say, nah, I ain't into the spanking, but I, I'll spank you for real. I'll spank you, though. My nigga, what the fuck wrong with these motherfuckers? Bro, don't let no hoe spank your ass. The fuck? You do the spanking. Let me spank you right now <laughs> or take a shot. Do you consent? I consent. Okay. Is it okay if I give you a hug first? Sure. Okay. My nigga, no, the hug was wrong, bro. Hug <laughs> was wrong, nigga. Hey, hug placement is crazy. So I'm going to give y'all some free game right here. Y'all know when y'all rush me, y'all always learning some shit. You feel oh. me? Is it okay if I... It's levels to hugging. Y'all don't even know this, bro. It's levels to hugging. You feel Can me? You hug first? Sure. So, with her, for sure, her arms is naturally going up, and this nigga fucking crossed the shit. A cross hug like this is definitely you friends. A cross hug is what you give to your fucking auntie or grandma. Some shit like that. You feel me? That's a cross hug. 
and this nigga's doing that shit right now. So you can do over hugs. It's it's definitely more easier when you taller. Like you usually got to do over hugs. Like, uh, but you still want to lower your hands. But like definitely in this situation right here, nigga, wrap your arms around her waist. Hand your hand placement should be on her waist first. Push her in a bit. And your arm should be like this at the end. You feel me? It's more intimate. It's more sexual. It's going to turn around. This shit right here just threw her off. Look. Rub on the back. French shit. Pat on the side. Look at this. She's already bent over. Your hands are supposed to be right here. And this is when your hands get to, to do do the work. You feel me? Free game for y'all. Nah, with the paddle too? Oh, oh my God. Zero to... This is like a four. There's no way, bro. What's a ten? <laughs> All right. Wait, can I have your belt? There's no way. What the fuck is going on, on, bro? Yeah. God damn. Okay. Maybe uh, aim a little higher than what you might What the fuck is going on, bro? Me in the balls. I appreciate. What the fuck is going on, bro? <laughs> Nigga. Uh, you good? I, you didn't have to be so firm, man. You know, that was good. firm. I'm bit. sorry. <laughs> Well, that nigga likes that Ow. shit, obviously. A one. Two. Three. Good job. I'll give it a whirl. The fuck? Ow. Bro, <laughs> what am I watching? What are we watching? Maybe spanking. This nigga's disappointing me, though. Partner might be for you. This nigga's straight. I think he's just a, a virgin for real. And, bro, this nigga might never get no, no pussy after this shit. I'm not going to lie. Oh my fucking god. You wanna try? <laughs> sure. Okay, so it's just gonna go like a little like. There we go. There we go. Hey, right, baby. I right, come here. Hey, right, she's giving them game, bro. She's giving them game. Bro. Oh my god. Oh my god. We're gonna go back soon. Look at this. Hold right, on. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Be quiet. Let's go. Get the fuck out of here, Nick. Your partner might be for yeah. you. You wanna try? She about to teach this nigga how to spank, Luna. Sure. Oh my okay, so god, she's a real like one. A little, like, Look. You know, like a little sound. Oh yeah. Okay. Hey, I ain't gonna lie, Go spanking ahead. takes practice and repetition. So hey, good for starting him off early, man. She gonna change the game for him. Cause he gotta touch out the way he's gonna make him want it more. So he gonna start talking to more girls, yeah. hopefully. Oh nah, nigga. How was it? I think I prefer this out a lot more. Okay. Alright, well now we know what you like. Fill this out a lot more. Maybe uh, he's live, bro. Is there a sex position you're the excited fuck? to try? Maybe doggy. That's a fun one. So you're imagining yourself getting doggy styled? Yeah. Yeah. I mean that's a that's a fun one. I've been doggy styled. You know, I've had a girl peg me, which wasn't really my thing, but they were just so excited. I was like, ah, yeah, go what? ahead. Does your family know what you do for a living? Why or why not? I think they do, we just don't you think? You're Hispanic, no? Yeah. Okay, like it's not it's not something you're, you're gonna talk about and sit down and like that's gonna fly. I'm also grown and I pay my mom's bills, so it's not like she can tell me anything. She's accepting the money, you know? I think they know, we just don't talk about it. I went to school to be a firefighter. I went through fire academy and got my AA doing that. Okay. I feel like there's probably some disappointment, at least from like family. Mm. Oh, that, you know, they thought I was going to go into this noble profession, Fuck. and here I am, like, as uh, they would say, like, back on, my so body. Um, yeah. But you're happy, though. Exactly. You're making money. I'm making money. I'm happy. I see it as an art. Give me advice for the first time I have sex. Well, this I know about. The very first time you do it's probably going to be awful, right? Okay. Because it's a skill, much like anything. So yeah. It's no definitely a skill. It to be yeah. You know, just go well. Well, I'm gonna improve it. This. Yeah. This is also why I say, man, the first time I've ever done it, bro, I need to give a fucking story time one day. Like, maybe in the future, I don't know. I never thought about doing that shit. But yeah, the first time I've done it, bro, like, I felt like I was doing this shit, like, for, for a long ass time before. Like, it was, I, I was just good at it, off straight off the back. Like, the girl Lily was like, Shit, should I be telling you how to show? I know, should I just say it for a later video? I'm going to say this. The girl was asking, she kept asking, bro. She, like, kept kept pushing for it, like, in a, in a crazier way. She kept asking, bro, did you hook up with a girl before this? Um, You be hooking up with girls the whole time, like, throughout the whole, like, throughout the process and shit, you feel me? And after, like, she just kept saying, 
you, you do this. And I ain't tell if I was if I was my first time or not, bro. She just was automatically assuming, nigga, I've been, I'm a hoe. Like, shut off the back. Like, and, and that's low kid confident when you when you around girls. You feel me? It just means you good at what you do. Trial and error. Yeah. Give me advice for the first time I have sex. Don't, don't overthink it. Do just, what they do in porn. So I don't, I don't need to, like, yeah. wear a costume or. Like, don't, don't, yeah, yeah. So when you first do it, bro. All that pound pound shit ain't it. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Catch a flow with her, go smooth. Read her body language. Just practice in her, man. That's that's the whole thing. Practice in her, man. You ain't fo so you ain't focused on yourself. You gonna last longer. You are gonna perform better. You feel me? And she gonna be happy as shit. Your stepbrother, nothing like that. No, nothing like that. Okay, the girls don't like that. <laughs> you think I could ever make it as a sex worker? I think if you sure. were a sex worker. It would be a porn, and it'd be like taking his virginity, for sure. Hey, we got big news. Oh, what did you just say? I think if you were a sex worker, it would be a porn, and it'd be like taking his virginity, <laughs> for sure. Hey, we got big that nigga like that shit though. Interesting video. I think that's the end of the vid, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, yeah, all the ad man. Cool little video, man. Uh, interesting. A lot of fruitcake shit going on. It ain't my preference, but shit. I'm just a reactor, you feel me? That's all I'm doing. Like, like fuck, what the fuck was that? Hey, like, I'm subscribed. I'm going to catch the next video, man. It's Line TV 2. We gone out this motherfucker. Hey, subscribe, man. Shout out to your mom and your sister.